Hey all, how's it going? Welcome to the Pixel Pub. Can I get you anything to drink? So I wanted to make a real quick video here um, be for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off being that there's a real good chance that this week um, I'm just not going to be able to make a video. I've been making uh, a video every single week for the last couple of months and this is going to be the first week that I haven't released one so I wanted this to kind of be that <laughs> this is that weekly video unfortunately it's not the same video that you're used to it's not the building a a streaming pc it's not the best gpu and cpu combos it's not anything like that I wanted to I wanted to just take a little bit of time because I've got a pretty exciting stream coming up uh, this Friday and I wanted to be able to take the time to prep for it. So I still wanted to get something out so you're getting this video. So what exactly is this video going to be? I gotta, I've got a couple of things I wanted to say but really it was, I started thinking about it to try to figure out what is next. What's next on this journey? Where, where do we go from here? So let me start at the beginning here and give you a little context of exactly why we're here. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we officially hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel and I couldn't be happier. I'm super excited, but I really started to think about it. What's next? You know, I was... I was asked by a good friend, all right, what's the next milestone? 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, what are we shooting for? And I kind of started thinking about it and I didn't really know what that next milestone looked like. Well, first off, I think we need uh, a good cheers here to get this one started. Here's to all of my 1,000 subscribers. I know that I have toasted all of you a couple of times before in previous videos, but you guys deserve it. I appreciate you being here. So let me tell you a little, a little story about how I started my YouTube channel. So to start it all off, this is actually my original channel that I started back in June of 2006. Now, obviously I've not been posting regularly on this channel since then, but I've always had a love for YouTube and making videos and editing and filming and being a part of this entire process. Before 2008, I had almost 200 videos on this channel. Lots of them had way more views than any of my current videos on them today. But back in late 2021, I was laid off from my job. My position was eliminated. It was late enough in the year that nobody was hiring anymore. Everybody was waiting for the beginning of the year, the first of the year. They were waiting for the holidays to be over. It was uh, perfect timing to lose your job. So as I applied more and more and more and talked to and had interviews with more and more and more people, I got more and more and more people telling me they were going to be waiting until the first of the year to hire anybody. So in that time, I decided that I was going to slow down a little bit on applications. I didn't stop altogether, but I needed to do something else. Otherwise, I was going to drive myself insane with these applications that were going nowhere. So I started making YouTube videos. I wanted them to be a little bit of a technology focus so that hopefully I could position myself as still learning, still actively teaching people, still involved in the technology industry in some way during this time of being unemployed that I could hopefully put that on my resume to help fill this void of being unemployed. Luckily in 2022, I found a new job and I was just fine. But in those short couple of months that I had started posting on YouTube, I was hooked again and I couldn't stop. So I've made quite a few transitions on this channel and we've changed up what we're posting about, what we're talking about, how we're doing things and lots of, lots of iterations in between, but we've finally made it to a thousand subscribers. So what now? Now, not only do I want to thank 
all of my subscribers for being here. I want, I really, really want to thank everybody that has supported me along the way here. A hundred percent, the, the biggest thank you has to go out to my wife and my family for dealing with me every single day, talking about YouTube, filming another video, scripting another video, editing another video, going and building another computer for a video. They put up with me, they put up with me doing a lot of interesting things. And I don't think that I can truly thank them enough for allowing me to chase my dreams and, and do something that I really, really enjoy. So thank you not only to my wife, Katie, but also to my kids who support me endlessly um, and are so excited that their dad is a YouTuber. I also can't not thank Antonio, my coach, for helping me get my YouTube channel on track. Uh, he, he's listened to me just about, probably just about as much as my wife has, being <laughs> confused and, and trying to figure out what I need to do with my whole YouTube channel here. So Antonio, thank you so much for, for listening to me and never making fun of me, jumping back and forth, having midlife crises every time I release another video. I also, in that same vein, I really want to thank a lot of my coworkers who support me through everything that I do. I've got a lot of really, really awesome people behind me and I appreciate every single one of you as well. You guys know who you are. Huge shout out to Casey Gamon, all of you over there that are supporting a fellow creator. There's something to be said about having a physical community that you can engage with, talk with, and, and, and create a community with. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you all. I promise I will stop with the sappy comments now. Now I've had, a, I've had a lot of inner dialogue about this on exactly what I want out of my YouTube channel and exactly what milestones I wanna hit, what goals do I have. But really what I've discovered is to be truly successful on YouTube, you need to treat this so much like a job that it starts to get a little bit not as fun anymore. So I feel like now that I've hit this milestone of a thousand subscribers, I kind of want to treat it less like a job and more like I'm having fun. So I think a lot of people say this kind of stuff. They want to start making more videos like this. They want to start making more videos that they want to make. They want to start having fun with YouTube again. And that's really what I want to do. So as cliche as it sounds, I want to start having fun with YouTube again. So what exactly does all that mean? It's a good question, but I'm going to try to figure it out. I don't think I have it figured out right now, but we're going to try our best <laughs> to figure it out. Um, so chances are for a while here, you'll still see a lot of you'll still see a lot of the standard videos that you've been seeing the last couple of months. You'll still see PC builds. You'll still see part recommendations. You'll still see some of the best streaming PCs that, uh, that you can build on the market right now, right here on this channel. But some of the other things that you're probably going to see are me traveling a little bit, me making some videos maybe a little bit more like this, me hopefully starting some of these conversations, not just about PCs, but about content creation in general, my life, the technology industry, the content creation industry as a whole. Who knows? I have a lot of interests. I know that you have a lot of interests as well. So let's talk about them. Hopefully we're going to have some different vlog style videos, some different event type of videos, some different travel types of videos. Like in November, I'm going to be flying down to Florida to build a computer for someone. And I wanna bring you guys along for that journey. Not to mention I've gone to plenty of other conventions and I only plan on going to more. So bringing you along to all of these different things, having some fun along the way and talking about more than just the best GPU and CPU combo right now is hopefully what we're gonna get into. So no matter what subscriber milestone lies ahead of us, cheers to us and cheers to the future of Devin Does Tech. It's only just beginning.